Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of Erica by Amore in the color Harvest Gold. Um, this is a really cute wig, really popular wig, and I really like this color, so I'm happy to show this one to you. So let's talk some specs first, shake it up a little bit, and then we'll talk about the color. So the bangs on Erica four inches, which generally is a good length, but I, for me, because, you know, I have a really small forehead, I would need to trim that up a little bit to make it wearable down. Otherwise, you can just sweep it off to the side of the face. Crown down is 9.5 inches, and the nape is four inches. I would say this one is just below the jaw on me, so it's very, very flattering. Um, it weighs 3.5 ounces. It's a little heavier feeling, I gotta tell you, and I think that's just because it's got that double monofilament top. Those often tend to feel a little bit heavy. So, Erica, 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 so very similar to the Cody, has this really lovely double monofilament top. You don't even need to wear a wig cap underneath it. I am for hygiene reasons, because I'm not gonna keep this one. But, I mean, if you didn't wear a wig cap underneath it, this is what you'd see is this built-in sort of scalp, and it's all over the top of this wig, which is pretty fantastic. Now that I'm zoomed in, you can see this one does not have a lace front. That makes this one really comfortable. And you can also tell what kind of color Harvest Gold is. This is a sandy blonde. Now what do I mean by a sandy blonde? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> sandy blondes, to me, look, well, like this. Basically, you know, you get a little bit of caramel, you get a little bit of light brown, and then you get ash, or some kind of honey blonde. But they look, you know, kind of like a sandy beach a little bit, you know? They're very dynamic up close, but then when you zoom out, the overall effect is usually that of some sort of either neutral beige or ash blonde. In this case, you know, it doesn't look super gold. I know it's called Harvest Gold, but the color itself is not a super duper gold color. To me, this just looks like a really nice, neutral, dark blonde. You know, it does have some gold in it, especially when you're looking at it up close. And especially when the light hits it in certain ways, you know, you get a little bit of that gold in there and it looks really pretty. But it is not a super duper golden blonde. And you can probably tell that by how this looks. Um, I've got a ton of lights on it. This isn't a super shiny wig. But uh, I think you can tell what I mean by sandy blonde. It's got warmth, it's got ash, it's got, you know, contrast. It's got all kinds of awesome goodness all wrapped up into one color. And it's all over the wig in equal distribution. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what Erica looks like on all sides now. professional standard kind of bob. It's a very, very good work wig. Um, let me go ahead and take this one off now so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. Moore has a lot of bobs. A lot of them. And that's because the Amore line is made to be for professionals. It's made to be a little bit more conservative. You get this really luscious, silky, smooth, double monofilament top. That's, that's what gives you that scalp. And then generous strip of polyurethane at the front hairline, no lace front as I mentioned earlier. But that polyurethane will allow you to add a little bit of lace tape or other kind of adhesive here, provided that that skin is bare. You never ever want to apply any kind of adhesive to an area where you have hair, or else when you take it off at the end of the night, you're gonna yank that hair right out. So closed ear tab, covered in lace, open side and back. We also have a slightly extended felt nape, but it's nothing to write home about. Covered in lace, and it's adjustable a bit like a bra strap. It does stretch a bit at the perimeter, and the back also stretches quite a bit. But this double monofilament top is where that stretch stops. So I find the Amore line very snug on me, but I have a, an average large cap size, technically. So this is more for like a petite average or an average cap size. So 
I would not necessarily buy the Amore line for personal wear for myself, just because of my cap size, but I, find, I think that these are excellent wigs. I think that they are beautiful, they're consistently beautiful. I've had very few problems with any of the offerings from the Amore line. They're, they're very dependable, usually. So, very good workhorse wigs, honestly. Um, and, and some of the better prices among monofilament feature wigs, honestly. So here's Erica up close. You can see some of the dynamic coloring here. Awesome. So that layering, you can see that it's not a graduated bob. It is longer in the back. I'm going to go ahead and put Erica back on now. That's one big difference between this one and Cody, for instance. Cody is definitely graduated. She's definitely shorter at the nape. And the front is shorter on Cody as well. But this part, the, the bang part, is longer on Cody. So there you have it. This is the Erica wig by Amore in the color Harvest Gold. Very beautiful sandy blonde color. And my name's Heather. I'm from SisterWigs.com. That's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S dot com. Stands for Polycystic Ovary Syndrome. Get it? So check out my wig store if you get a chance. Or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or heck, just keep watching, keep following. You know, we'll have a good time. So until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.